James Mendoza, 24-154. And appearance? Good afternoon, Your Honor. Christopher Shemke, appearing behalf of my time. At this time, we extend to the matter being heard via Zoom as the arraignment. We wait for more reading. Our client stands me. All right. Thank you. And Mr. Mendoza, your name for the record, please. James Mendoza. All right. The court waited for more reading. Enter a plea of not guilty for purposes of the arraignment. And the court will schedule this matter for a pre-trial on June 7th at 9, 15 a.m. at the 28th District Court. All right, and counsel, as to bond. Your Honor, my client indicates he's not on probation or parole. He currently lives in Taylor. He's 28 years old. He indicates he will appear at any and all future court dates. We respectfully request leniency when determining an appropriate bond. Thank you, Judge. All right, sir, where is it you live? Taylor, Michigan. And um, how long you lived there, sir? All right. What's that? Just speak up, sir. I said my whole life, pretty much. All right, sir. Well, my math, my math isn't very quick today, so I don't know how old you are. So, a twenty-eight. Okay, and so you're not currently on probation. No, I just got a PR bond uh, yesterday, and then they brought me here. The same charge. I was already tried okay. for this. I already did 30 days in Wayne County for this. Uh, well, sir, I think that may be for something different because you did. I'm showing that on January 25th of this year, you pled guilty to domestic violence and were sentenced to 93 days jail. And then the one after how many that. Days are you, excuse me. How many days Six. is this? You're saying that you. Served, sir? I, I believe I did 68, and then after that, I did 30, and then four in the holding cell. So that was the charge for the one with Candace. Because I'm still, I thought I was still with her, but they won't even make contact with her or anything. And that was the same charge I was already tried for. And I got not guilty. Well, <clears throat> what? Were you on from, and is that Candace Connolly? Yeah. Is that yes? Yes, ma'am. Or yes, Your Honor. And so you're currently, uh, well, it shows a probation violation warrant out of Woodhaven and Jackson. So what were you on probation for out of, J out of Jackson, sir? I believe it was an OUID and a, um, And so the matter that um, you just served time for the 68 days of the 23rd District Court, was Candace the victim in that matter, sir? No, it was the one after. The one after they gave me three, two or three domestic violences and they dismissed all of them when I had Judge Slater. That was just recently. That was like a month and a half ago, maybe. I had gotten out after doing 30 days to drop all of it. Okay. Well, who was the individual um, that was the victim in your other matter, sir. Candace. Okay, no, you said that was the last one. Support. What about the prior? I'm sorry, what's that, sir? They had brought up a police report, and that's the same. I was confused. That's why I was like, why do I have one in Riverview?
Okay, well, it apparently, sir, it appears that there is a matter in Taylor and in Riverview. Cla uh, apparently close, let me finish, please. Apparently close in time. So do the two of you share a child in common? Uh, yeah, yes. Not biologically, but yes. I send the birth certificate. Not biologically, but you signed the birth certificate. Okay. All right, and Detective Lyles, would you like to address Bond? Briefly, Your Honor. Okay. Um, Your Honor, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Mr. Mendoza failed to appear on this case for March. Um, the, the reason he's here is because he was arrested in Taylor for a domestic incident in which he was arraigned by the out county court and given a PR bond. He was then released into our custody um, for this arraignment. Um, just want to highlight a couple things on uh, Mr. Mendoza's CCH. Obviously, he does have a prior domestic conviction. It does sound like there's been some domestic issues with the same victim as this case. Um, Mr. Mendoza does have an involuntary hospitalization order from 819 of 2021 in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, in the remarks section, it does state may harm himself or others unable to understand the need for treatment, must file an outpatient treatment plan. He also has multiple warrants for his arrest. Um, it shows that you know, he does not necessarily follow the court's orders to appear. Um, and I do believe some of that may be just some mental health concerns based on what we have observed uh, today and yesterday while he's been in custody. Um, I do feel that um, you know, a, a 20,000, 10% cash bond would be um, uh, appropriate. However, I think there's some mental health concerns that need to be addressed with Mr. Mendoza. I can't afford to make any kind of bond. I was going to ask for a PR bond like they gave me yesterday. Well, I can guarantee you, so you're not getting one of those from this court. You shouldn't have even gotten one of those yesterday either. You have a history of failing to appear. There's a victim in this matter that is now a victim in, two, in another matter as well. You have a prior conviction for domestic violence. That you just served time in the Wayne County Jail for. When is when did she be, have another victim? So you absolutely will not be getting a PR bond from this court. So here's what the court's going to order. Based upon the prior criminal history of Mr. Mendoza, the um, the allegation there's another domestic violence matter with the same victim. There's a prior domestic violence conviction for Mr. Mendoza. He has three warrants out for his arrest for his failure to appear. The court's going to order a $25,000, 10% bond <clears throat> with the following bond conditions. In the event you post bond, sir, or even if you're still in the custody of the Wayne County Jail, or even if any treatment that you may be going to, you're not to have any contact with Ms. Connolly. Phone contact, text message, email, social media, third party, um, package delivery service, United States Post Office, anything of the like. There's zero contact. You're saying, you're saying another accusation. That's why I don't want these fake ass charges. Like I keep telling that man there. Him and his fucking family need to stay the fuck from around me. I'm done. I don't want to contend the court. Me. Mr. But Mendoza. I understand. Mr. Mendoza. I asked him not to show up. Sir. sir, let me clarify. You are in court. That is not appropriate language for court. He's had his head down the whole time fucking me over. I see. Again, that's not uh, appropriate language for court, Mr. Mendoza. I'm sorry, what was that, Mr. Shumke? Oh, no, Judge. I, I did try to do an interview with uh, my client. Uh, and then he indicated that he wanted to discontinue talking. So the reason why I'm not saying anything more is because he didn't want me to speak any further on his behalf, but I have no animosity or disrespect uh, towards my client and was happy to zealously try to represent him to give an opportunity to try to make bail. But I'm, I just wanted to address any statement that he made about me on the on the record. Okay, thank you. So, Mr. Mendoza, you're not getting a PR bond. 
So I'm going to re I'm going to resume. No contact with Ms. Connolly. You're not to go to the home on Coaster Street. You're not to possess or consume any alcohol or drugs that are not prescribed. Do you have any items at the home, sir? No. He indicated no, Your Honor. No. Okay, thank you. You're not to possess or to access any firearms and or any weapons. Do you have any of those, sir? No, you don't have any in the home? No. You are to have a GPS tether, house arrest. I don't see that you work. Do you work, sir? No, Your Honor. All right, and that tether will be through the Wayne County Jail. You also are to receive mental health treatment through the Wayne County Jail. Any, <clears throat> any questions? I didn't hear that. <laughs> he, he said he had no questions, Your Honor, correct? Yes. <clears throat> Okay, thank you. We'll see you back thank on you, June 7th. All right, have a good day. We're going to go off the record for a moment. We're going to grab Mr. Smith and bring him in as well. Okay, thank you.